Hello, I'm Leonard Diggins, and I'm a candidate for re-election to the Arlington Select Board. My motivation to run for re-election remains the same as it was three years ago when I ran for my first term. First, I like learning just about anything, whether it is something completely new or a deeper dive into a familiar topic. Second, I like using that knowledge to take on big and complex challenges. And third, I love collaborating with people. And I'll add a fourth motivation this time, and that is I love policymaking. I like taking a solution for a particular set of circumstances and generalizing that solution so that we can apply it to a broader range of circumstances in an equal and if necessary equitable manner. Most, if not all solutions to complex problems involve trade-offs and I eagerly dive into the effort to find the balance that does the most good and minimizes negative impacts. Arlington is a wonderful town in a great region and with nearly 100 functioning boards, commissions, and committees, it scores high on the meter of civic engagement. We have so much potential, and indeed, we are turning that potential into action. I am particularly excited about the Young Arlington Collaborative, which we're in the process of launching. Leading the effort to create it was the most rewarding activity of my first term. Why? Because instead of setting it up as primarily an advisory committee to the select board, as is the Transportation Advisory Committee and the Bicycle Advisory Committee, I, along with my colleagues on the select board, put forth a warrant article asking town meeting to create a study committee to determine whether and how to create a youth and young adult advisory board. The result is a young Arlington Collaborative with a structure for which I can take only a small part of the credit. Its structure makes it one of the largest official bodies in town other than town meeting, and it has the capacity to become the most inclusive and diverse group in town. There is nothing like it in the Commonwealth, and I hope that Arlington will soon become a leader in showing the good things that can happen when youth and young adults become more involved in their government and their communities. Now, I've dwelt on the Young Arlington Collaborative because it elucidates my leadership style. I don't approach issues as if I have the best answers to solutions, I approach problems thinking that I have ideas, and my expectation is that any good idea that I have will become brighter with the input of others. Rather than dragging you to a destination or pushing you onto a certain course of action, I prefer to be side by side with you, exchanging ideas about how we can move forward together as we create more effective solutions, a stronger sense of community, and a greater sense of belonging. Now, I have priorities such as one, creating more sustainable and affordable transportation and transit options, two, working with the community and staff to develop a strategic plan for responsibly increasing new growth, and three, making it possible for Arlington to develop more housing of all types, especially housing where those way below the average median income and those seniors who no longer want to or are able to physically live in their large and often older homes. However, the issues I take on ultimately depend on the needs of the community at any given point in time. I can make decisions though, and when the time comes to lead, I do. Our form of government works best when every decision is not treated as a plebiscite. As leaders, we are at our best when we assess the quality of each argument and opinion rather than the number of times or how lightly that argument is made. I have and I will make decisions, but I will evaluate and reevaluate those decisions. I will not hesitate to change my mind should I encounter new arguments that guide me to different conclusions. Sometimes it's necessary to change course in order to ultimately reach our goals. Sometimes the direct course is not the most effective course and often slow and steady will prevail in the end. I am proud of the effort that I put in during my first term. I am grateful for the opportunity to have met and connected with so many more people than I would have otherwise over the last three years. I have been tremendously impressed with the residents and staff of Arlington and indeed all of my colleagues on the select board as I've come to have a greater appreciation for how much we all deeply care about our community and work on its behalf. I hope that you will elect me for a second term and that we continue working together side by side to plot Arlington's path towards a more vibrant, inclusive, sustainable, and truly amazing future. Thank you.